All right, what is going on guys? It's Tensor and this is the second video in a row that I've done a face cam appearance, which is kind of wild. But this video is not gonna be the normal style of video that you guys are used to seeing on my channel. There's not gonna be a bunch of cuts and super fast pace. It's just gonna be a laid back conversation about Fortnite. I've seen a lot of YouTubers with big audiences recently making these videos and I thought I should probably chime in and give you guys my thoughts. Because if you don't know, I have been playing this game since practically the beginning. I mean, I was one of the first YouTubers that probably committed to playing Fortnite. I don't really remember which Call of Duty it was. I'm kind of stupid, but I do remember how boring it was. And then I found Fortnite and for some reason, I didn't really like it at first. It just seemed like a child's game to me. It was so colorful and just, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but I just wasn't going to play it. But then I realized how much content could come out of the game because everyone was just so bad at the start. So everyone was on an equal playing field and then they started releasing skins and the item shop and it just got really fun and everybody started hopping on it and yeah now it's what it is today before I criticize anything because I don't want to make this a video about just hating on epic games or hating on Fortnite I just got to say like I appreciate epic games so much for what they've done the one thing that they did that I don't think gets appreciated enough is the fact that they gave all of the youtubers and creators a supporter creator code because that alone has changed so many people's lives a lot of you guys might not know because a lot of you might not have a code but it really does help a lot when you put in somebody's code and especially when the person has thousands and thousands of people using them i'm not obviously going to share too many details and i shouldn't get too into this but i think that epic games should get a lot more praise for the fact that they literally help support their creators even though they don't really communicate with the creators anymore but either way i just want to get that out of the way before any negative stuff because i just want everyone to know how much i actually do appreciate them okay now we can talk about the actual problems with Fortnite right now because as you guys know it's really just been going downhill recently not even just recently I mean it's really been going downhill for a while I honestly want to say since chapter two and I don't know how many total months it's been but since chapter two came out we've only had two seasons in a span of I don't know how many months now it's just a super weird vibe right now I don't really understand it like they don't really communicate with anybody they don't really released much new stuff and i know back in the day all everyone did was complain when they added new stuff because they would add a new item or some sort of crazy mech thing and it would just be super op and everyone would hate it but looking back on it i mean i think i would rather take mechs than take what we're given now before i get too deep too quickly let me narrow down the problems and i'm going to talk about them individually <laughs> So right now, I think the biggest thing in my mind is there's really no casual side to Fortnite at the moment. Like it's just full on sweat mode. I think the closest thing you can get to casual in Fortnite is Team Rumble. Obviously, there's skill based matchmaking in the game. And if you guys don't know what that is, basically what happens is you get paired up with other people that have similar stats to you. And it's just going to be really hard to win consistently or do that good. It's really annoying because there's literally arena in the game, which has never made made sense to me by the way to have skill based matchmaking and arena at the same time so it's just stupid because no matter what I play if I play normal solos or arena solos there's still going to be sweats in both because skill based matchmaking makes it so if I play normal public solos it's just players that are as good as me or better than me or just a tad bit less as good as me and I don't know about you guys but a long time ago when there wasn't skill based matchmaking one of my favorite things to do when I wasn't recording a video or I wasn't streaming or I wasn't doing anything I was just sitting here playing was playing solos. I don't know why, but I've just always loved to sit in solos and just play. It was really just like my form of practice. I mean, I know everyone goes into creative now or playground back in the day and they just sweat against their friends and 1v1 and tried to practice all their tunneling and builds and everything they could do and crank their 90s. But I never really did that. I just always went into solos and just practice my skill there. It's crazy because if I want to have fun with making videos on Fortnite right now, I almost have to play creative or team rumble. And I'm not going to play team rumble because that's just stupid there's no point I can't really make funny videos in team rumble right now creative mode I don't know if they have skill based matchmaking I don't think they do but either way for the most part when I do creative fills they're not really that good so it's kind of fun to play in you guys have seen my videos in the past annoying people in creative fills that's literally what I do for fun now I literally just go in creative put fill on and I just go into like box fights and try to piss people off really that's it and they're not that good so it's pretty easy 
to make funny videos where I don't have to try my absolute hardest. Because when I'm trying my absolute hardest and I'm sweating my ass off just to get a win or just to get a kill, I literally can't have fun because I can't make any comments. I can't talk when I'm playing. It's just not going to be funny. When I die, I'm not going to be happy. It's not going to be any fun to watch. And probably, you know, after I fought for five minutes and one box fight and I die, I'm going to want to just stop recording. Obviously, to some of you, that probably sounds like I just can't handle defeat. But the thing is, like, it happens every game with skill-based matchmaking. Like, it literally is almost impossible for me to win when I just am recording a video for fun. My YouTube videos, as you guys know, is just about humor. Like, I'm just trying to be funny. I'm just trying to make you guys laugh. I'm not trying to impress you guys with my skill. I think it's a known fact now that I'm not that amazing at the game. I know I've been playing a lot of these tournaments recently with the FNCS duo tournament, and I've been playing a lot of arena and trying to get better. But let's be honest, like, I'm not that great, okay? Like, I'm, I think I'm above average, but I'm not the best. Like, I can't win an FNCS tournament right now. I can't win a solo cash cup right now. You know what I mean? I can't even come close because these cracked 16 year olds are just all better than me and I've accepted it like it's it's fine if I was 16 right now I'd probably be as good as them too that's what I was with Call of Duty all I did was play 24 7 I had no responsibilities I'm sure people that were like 22 23 when I was like 15 14 playing Call of Duty were just getting stomped by me and they were just so mad and then I come on the mic with my squeaker voice and talk crap yeah we've all been 14 15 gaming another thing that doesn't exist that has to do with the same topic with making videos is random duos just doesn't really exist anymore and that's because back in the day when I did random duos videos, there wasn't skill based matchmaking. So I could get matched up with anybody. I could get matched up with goddamn, I don't know, Booga, or I could get matched up with little skater boy 231 who's played two games and doesn't even know what he's doing. It was fun just to be able to carry somebody or be carried, you know what I mean? And talking to people, it's just content. It's just funny. It's for videos, you know what I mean? And I can't do that anymore because if I play random duos, they're usually as good as me and they sit there and they're not even talking and they're focused so hard. They're off their Adderall and stuff and they can't even speak and I don't know, it's just boring. And also you have to try your hardest because every other duo in the lobby is the greatest players ever. And they've all been playing together for years and they just team up on you and they know what they're doing. They're practicing for their FNCS tournaments. Like it's just crazy. They all think they're in the World Cup. It's just insane to me. It's so hard to do anything right now. And I'm just aggravated because I wanna make YouTube videos where I wanna make funny, content. I want to be able to just go into a random duo game or I want to be able to go into a solo game. I don't know. I just want to be able to do something where I'm actually enjoying playing pubs because that's when I loved this game. And I do love this game. Like I truly love this game, which is why I'm getting so worked up. The only other game that I think I've probably stuck to this long and kept going back to was Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Like there's no comparisons other than that. Like I literally have played so much Fortnite and I still love it. I just think that skill-based matchmaking should not be in public matches, especially Especially when there's arena mode, it just doesn't make sense in my head at all. If you want to get better and you want to play players that are as good as you, then go into arena. You'll slowly be able to rank up and you'll keep playing players that are on that same level as you. And then they'll get better and better and better and you'll get better and better and better. That's what it should be. Not skill-based matchmaking and public solos where all I'm trying to do is just laugh and barely even be looking at the screen, maybe talking to my girlfriend at the same time, like 360ing, shitting on a kid, and then probably just getting absolutely bonked by a TTV. I don't know. You know, it's fun because you can get matched up with anybody when there's not skill-based matchmaking. That's what I'm saying. I think that's just more fun because you don't know what to expect. And it's just a better feeling than knowing that you're dropping into a game with a bunch of people that are ready to cut your head off and you're going to stand no chance eventually when it comes down to like top 20. And speaking of top 20, it's literally 20 players left after like two minutes into each lobby. You drop into a solo game, it will be top 20 within literally like two to three minutes, which is nothing. So if you don't land at one of these crazy POIs, you're not going to get many kills and you're going to have to land like Lazy Lake. And if you do that, then you're going to be in a city with 50 other people that are all as good as you if not better and you're probably not going to come out of it alive unless you get really lucky all i'm saying is i don't think skill-based matchmaking should ever be in the game i think a lot of the bigger creators that used to be on this game don't play as much anymore because of this and you need those creators back you need a courage jd you need a ninja you need all these players back because they're huge on their streams and their videos and they just want to do funny stuff just like i want to do funny stuff and it makes people want to play the game when they see others having fun playing it. I don't know if you would want to play the game if you would tune into somebody's stream or video and see them getting absolutely railed. You know what I mean? It would probably not make you want to play. All I'm saying Epic Games is please, 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 please consider taking out skill-based matchmaking. I don't think anybody likes it. <laughs>
Now, the next thing that I think irks a lot of people, and especially me, is there's no communication from Epic Games whatsoever. I think everyone has repeated this a thousand times, but maybe I need to say it too. Like, they don't literally update us on anything. There used to be patch notes after every update, and we'd know exactly what was changed. And sure, maybe not all of it we'd like, but at least we knew. Now it's just a guessing game. There's an update, and then you have to go find something. You know what I mean? And it's just annoying because you want to know what they're changing and updating because you don't want them to silently be changing stuff that is messing with the game and you don't even know about it. It's just stupid. Oh, here we go. Okay, aim assist. Now, I know a lot of you controller players are watching this video right now and probably think I'm about to bash on you. I'm actually not going to because I know for a fact, right, it's not your fault that aim assist is the way it is in the game. Like, it's literally not your fault. I'm just gonna say it right now. If I could go back to the beginning of Fortnite, I would play with a controller and I'd stick to it. I would have never touched keyboard and mouse. I used to be a controller player. I used to play Call of Duty. I used to use aim assist. I know what it is. I mean, it's fun. And why would you not want to use it if it's in the game? Like, I can't yell at you or be mad at you for using it when it's literally an option in the game. That just makes no sense to me. Like, I can't get mad at you guys. But you do have to think about it, right? All these controller players are now coming over over to PC and a lot of them have like 144 Hertz or 240 Hertz monitors. They're getting crazy FPS and I'm not going to lie. I've used controller on PC. It is ridiculously smooth and feels amazing. Unless you are horrible and you use way too high of a sensitivity and you don't know what you're doing. Aim assist really is crazy on PC with the controller. I'm not saying it's bad. Please like don't take this the wrong way because I for some reason I don't know why but uh, controller players just get so upset every time anything is said like I'm trying to let you guys know no, like I actually do give controller players a lot of props. I think for the longest time, keyboard and mouse ruled the game, but I mean, controller players got a lot better and now they just have taken over and it's not their fault. I mean, they've just gotten better. If you see the best teams and competitive right now, when it comes to duos and trios, maybe I don't know about trios too much, but I know duos. Some of the best teams are a controller player and a keyboard and mouse player working together. I don't know if aim assist needs a nerf. I don't really know, man, because at the end of the day, like, I don't know if that would help anything. I think that the majority of Fortnite right now is controller players and it would be probably a mistake to just nerf everything that they have but i definitely do think that we need to probably discuss it a little more and maybe epic games need to just look at it because i just have gotten beamed so many times in these tournaments in the last weeks where i literally could not react like I couldn't react. I'm dead. Like hey, there's no questions asked. Like I get hit once by them. I'm dead. I have 200 health. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm dead. So I don't know if that's good for the future of Fortnite. I don't know if the guns are just too strong and maybe the mythic guns with aim assist together is just completely unfair. I don't know. I just wanted to bring up the aim assist thing because I know a lot of pros just cry and cry and cry about it. But the thing is they can't cry about it because it's in the game. It's not the controller player's fault. <laughs> At the end of the day, guys, I've been talking for a while, but I just really love this game. Like, I actually truly love this game. I don't want to keep looking at my Twitter timeline and seeing negative stuff about it. Like, I want everyone to love this game as much as I love it again. It's the most fun I'm having on any video game right now. I've tried out a few others recently, but uh, Fortnite still has my heart. I love this game. I don't know if I can say it enough. I just hope they start communicating a lot more and the changes that they're making and future stuff that they have planned. And hopefully it just gets better from here. I know the other day they just announced that they're extending ending season two which is whatever i don't i don't really know like i don't know how we've only had two seasons of chapter two so far it's felt like like a year i just hope that they're looking at videos like this and you know really listening versus looking at tweets from 14 and 15 year olds that are just saying crazy stuff and how much they hate the game even though they're going to keep playing it regardless i just wanted to rant today i don't know i just really wanted to sit down this actually felt really good i feel like i just got a weight off my chest like I can breathe again. If you guys want, we can start a discussion in the comments. Just let me know if you agree or disagree with anything I said. I'm all open to yours. I never shut anybody down. I'll always listen. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. If you want to leave a like in the video, subscribe if you're new. Thank you for all the love and all the videos recently too. We've been doing great. So thank you guys so much. Use code Tensor in the item shop and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. I love you all. Peace out. And uh, hopefully we see some good changes from Fortnite starting soon because I just want to love this game again as much as I used to.